Okay, morning everyone. Nana Smith Attire here, live in the workshop. Gonna make some beanies for you this morning. Check this out. So first we have to cut out some the rest of fabric. Down over here. Got the panel on the floor. Got to do some cutting. Cut the panels for the headwear we're building up. So we've got our four panels for our four hats or toques, beanies. Shredding them up here. Got your pattern, put the line down on chalk, on the fabric. Now if you've ever seen actually someone sewing some garments, you just so used to go into the shop and picking them up. This is actually what we do. We sew them together. You got our two sets of panels here. One piece and two. We're gonna put these together here for you today. So let's go. We've got our serger machine here. Give her a run. See if she's rolling this morning hot. Could be, pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's going. It's called a serger. Creates a overlocking seam. You can't really see that too well. But here there's a bit of a seam. So then I get one of my panels. And it's got two sides. So this is the side I want to put in. And I connect it to the hat here, matching up the sides. Let's have a look. And we match the ends up, throw the foot up, and off we go. Now this is not an industrial machine, this is... This is your uh, home style here, but whatever. Okay, so that's one side complete of a, of a hat here, my new model. I actually wrote down a pattern calling it the uh, droid, but uh, that was a few years ago, and now obviously the droid is Motorola's phone, so won't be calling it the droid. Maybe the Borg. Who knows? Come up with a cool name. Match up the other side. Here we go, we're off and racing. A little bit of work to get it matching up. But that's all good. Go around. Slowly. Again, doing it, actually making it by hand. And there are artisans out there that are making clothes by hand. Props to them. Okay, so basically the hat's the hat's done here. Let's take the old hat off, throw her on, test her out, check the seams. Looking pretty good. Throw it on. Yeah. See? Yeah. It's looking good. Okay, can roll it up. A little bit. Okay, so we finish her off. I'm just going to surge the edges here. Line her up. Black Russian back on. Thanks, boys. Black Russian guys. R.I.P. Josh Even. Sewing her up. Yeah, and that's a. Uh, that's a hat pretty much complete right there. 
you can see that. Oh, get my scissors, got my other panels, I won't sew, sew all those right now. But, uh, you know, there's your hat. And what I'll do to finish her off is I'll throw on, using my straight stitcher, a logo here. Sort all over the place. Little toolbox back here. Got some little skull and crossbones here, glow in the dark. Pretty neat. So uh, yeah, I've made up these little patches from some fabric. So I snip this off. Boom. A little bit of extra cotton. Give it a little check again to make sure it's all solid. I'm liking that. Looking good. Ready for our customer. Surge is done, so I unplug that. Boom. Pull that off the table. And I roll in this guy. It's called a straight stitcher if you've never seen one. Basically, yeah. She's an old singer. Got it all stick it up. And you got all your buttons and functions and whatever else. So yeah, she's got all the logos ready to roll. Plug this guy in. Turn the light on. Got my cotton and thread already. And let's get the patches. We put them here. They are. Now you know creativity. I don't know. Decide where you want to put it. Put it anywhere, really. You could whack, put it there. I don't know. Check it out. See what I think. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Or we could put it on the other side. I think I'm going to go for the other side. I'm going to go for the black side here. So I pin it down. Use my pins to secure it here find another one secure it here and then it's in place got it throw it down on zigzag get the scissors out the way bring in a bit tighter put it underneath drop the drop the Drop the needle, hopefully that's not too controversial. And away we go with a little bit of surgeon. Well, well not surgeon here, straight stitching. Just trying to get around the corner. Keep it all tight. This is uh, made in Castlegar here. This is made in Canada. This is made locally. So I know there's, there's artisans out there making stuff locally and you should support them. Because that's what keeps them living in their communities of choice is being able to do what they want. Nearly finished. Coming around. Finish her off. Let's just take the Cotton out from there, cotton out from here, perfect, looking good, and just see what we got, so take the hat off, and uh, yeah, let's try her on, little panel, it's all set up, boom, there we go, look at that. That's Nana Smith. Have it like that if you want. Might have it. So, nanasmith.com or nanasmithattire.com at nanasmith on Twitter. And this is custom sewing. Get the, get the material there. Get the machine. Scissors. Measure you up. Make something custom. Got my little model here. Look at that little, she's little snowflake style. Again, 
I don't know, probably retail those for about 20 bucks, 15. You know, fabric costs. When you're buying something for 25, offshore, made. Man, they're making a lot of money on you. So, you know, yeah, support your local shop. But, you know, think about where it's made. Okay, that's nanasmithattire.com out. Check you later.